18 years, St. Luke's has been borrowing money to make up the difference between our annual spending and our annual income. In 1990, the St. Luke's nest egg, the Perpetual Memorial Fund, was worth more than $750,000. Today, there is only $140,000 in change remaining in that account. For 2009, St. Luke's operating budget is $402,000, but our projected income, that is the money that you give to St. Luke's, is only $273,000, leaving a deficit of $129,000 meaning that by the end of 2009, the St. Luke's Perpetual Memorial Fund, our nest egg, will have shrunk to $11,000, which is not enough to sustain our church for one more year. So what can we do? I believe the answer lies somewhere between biting the bullet and going for broke. St. Luke's needs to find ways to cut its annual budget by $65,000, this can be accomplished by establishing freezes on any new projects, new equipment, or other facility upgrades. Certainly other sacrifices can also be made, knowing that the alternative would mean the end of St. Luke's after nearly 60 years of ministry in central St. Petersburg. So what about the other $65,000 needed to meet the 2009 budget? That's where you come in. Just like you, I love Spirit Walk. Being your worship leader has been one of God's greatest blessings in my life. We've come a long way since I joined in 2001. What we've accomplished in just the last six months is phenomenal. Our biggest problem is that Central St. Petersburg, for the most part, does not even know that we exist. We need you to spread the word. Ask God for the wisdom, the words, and the opportunity to tell others about our unique and inspiring worship service. At the same time, ask yourself how much more you can do personally to help St. Luke survive beyond 2009. If you have never made an annual or monthly giving commitment, then I humbly ask you to review your finances, revise your budget, and fill out a commitment card before next Sunday. Above all, pray. Pray that God will use you as a catalyst for sustaining this ministry, not only for what it means to you or for your family, but for what it means to an entire community that does not yet know about the saving grace of our loving God. The time is now. We have some decisions to make.